Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. As you know, though some Western countries provide, uh, provided and still provide and will provide Ukraine with, like, say, aid. Now, there's military aid, it's uh, economic aid, which is money and investments. I don't know in what exactly. And also, and also, and <laughs> uh, political uh, aid, help, support their choice but there's a limit um, obviously they do whatever they want their actions have consequences and uh, not only I but many other people um, could not stop from uh, wondering who gets the weapons who um, manage them who manages them who who takes care of them in the way of who makes sure that those weapons get to where they're supposed to, they are intended to get to, to the people who are uh, supposed to have them. And in the process, they don't, they're not, uh, you know, diverted to different routes. And then what happens with those, uh, what will happen with those um, weapons once the war is over, <coughs> as long as we think that that war is going to be over. And even if it's not over, <coughs> that war, the, those weapons will, could be smuggled somewhere else. The same with the, the, the funds. They send billions of dollars over there. Who manages those funds? Who, are, who, con who, who controls, who supervises the ones who manage the, uh, the funds? And who manage the managers of the ones who uh, manage the funds? Uh, and I tell you why. As I said, as a general, I don't care if they get money over there and so on. You know when I care? When I know that that money comes from me. And instead of going to me, and this uh, society here who made that money or who would pay for that money uh, and goes over there then i would like to know i would like to hold people accountable how they invest my money without my permission so i have here an article coming from um, actually the pentagon uh, made some statements this uh, article comes from the new voice of ukraine from uh, july 16th 2022 and this is the title no signs that weapons for ukraine will be smuggled somewhere else uh, how do you know that and will be this is in the title will be in the future uh, but this uh, is a future tense obviously and here um whatever is going to be the um they're going to use a different tense during the article there are no indications that the military aid from what western partners for Ukraine would go anywhere other than fighting the Russians, Pentagon senior military official said during a briefing on July 15th. This is like I tell you, tomorrow I'll go to work. Really? Or let's say Monday or Tuesday or... Really? There's no indication that Emil will not go to, to work uh, on, let's say, next week. Really? How do you know that? Already. Because of a pattern? Can you check that? Can you, can you foresee that? Or the things are so uh, controlled that there's no way. Like uh, you have uh, next to a each each uh, rocket launching system, you have a, uh, a Western uh, how should I put it? Uh, supervisor or a, a person who monitors uh, is this here? Is the right people? Let me take yeah okay all right and stays over there until that gets gets blown up or moves to a different position and he goes with them do you think that happens no do you think it should i think it should because those kind of weapons will end up in the hands of other guys bad dudes or worse dudes worse dude than the, the ones they have right now or they uh they fight and those guys will use it for other uh you know settling certain scores outside of the world uh, order and then you're gonna have an isis again somewhere you're gonna have an al-qaeda again somewhere you're gonna some muhajedin uh, uh, freedom fighters somewhere and then what are you gonna do it's because of the russians but who the provided those with weapons and who who got the russians to invade over there they just unprovoked right that's the word that we have to all agree unprovoked no uh, no reason uh, the reasons were nine, uh, 2014 uh, Minsk agreements. That could be a reason. Just remember that one. And I'm quoting, we are not tracking weapons. 
that's the that's the military the pentagon senior military official said because i'm quoting we are not tracking weapons the u.s official said and quite honestly i mean we feel pretty good that the ukrainians are using the weapons that were provided to them and have not seen any indication that those weapons have gone anywhere else other than the, to fight against the russians so how do you know though that if you're not tracking the weapons and if you're uh, if you're not uh, you know they just get they they have not seen any indi indications like how do you're not tracking okay you don't put them a tracking system or something maybe you should i don't know like you see even here you have uh, tracking uh, systems for any kind of you know car that you own or car that you uh, loan or you know give it to someone you the was it you go let's say you go in a different city or a different country and you um, you know uh, get a car over there rent a car that has tracking system right there it's not for me to go wherever i want to do whatever that have a tracking system and how much do you send how many weapons uh, nine high mars you don't have nine tracking systems and a, uh, a command post that you have over there that could figure out where they are really and not even that you should have better better things than uh, than this uh, little thing you could have better ways of monitoring those uh, rocket launchers million multi million dollars um, rocket launcher just given like that it's okay quite honestly uh, how do you guys say <laughs> we are not tracking the weapons <laughs> and quite honestly you're just an ignorant and you're an official of pentagon where things are strict because when you send someone in a mission on a mission you don't say you know what go in that area over there and figure things out you give the coordinates and the coordinates are exact no you say about there and about sometimes sometimes when there are certain missions but well, okay send a bunch of guys over there no you, you have to be very precise you send this number of people this unit which you can say there's a battalion a regiment or whatever you want to uh, group you want in each 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 group has a number when you say a battalion has a certain number when you say a, a detachment has a, a, a different number when you say a regiment a, that's a different set number it, why it's exactly you know exactly how many people are sent over there exactly how many officers are in charge of that let's say battalion or regiment or as i said it's not and you tell them when to leave you don't tell them well some sometime tomorrow in the afternoon i mean you can function like that as a military but you're gonna get your ass kicked that's for sure and this 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 country here it seems like it goes towards that kind of military not only in the personnel uh, aspect hey let anybody can go let's go we do you don't need training you don't even have to pass too much i mean yeah do three pull-ups and that's good man it's uh you know that that's fine run about uh, 50 yards in three hours you're good to go man you're good to go carry three needle pins and uh that's good that's how much you're gonna wear the whole, all your uh, uh 60 pound uh, you know uh, equipment is just uh you know three little orange juices that you have to drink anyway man it's 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 angering so uh i i feel very confident that uh they are not um it says here that any weapons movement both to ukraine and from ukraine the defense minister of ukraine advisor yuri sak assured that any weapons movement both to ukraine and from ukraine when such a movement is required for repairs it it very closely monitored and controlled both U ukraine and our international partners my boy that's the guy who's gonna smuggle them that's the guy it's not going to be the guys in the field. It's not going to be the bad dudes. Al Capone is going to come back to life and is going to grab some of these uh, weapons. No, it's going to be the, the military. It's going to be the guys over there. Those, those bureaucrats. Those guys will be. That's what happens in Romania, in corrupt countries. They are the, deci the, the uh, decision makers. They're going to get the bribes and they're going to do whatever. It's not going to be the military on the, in, in the field. Not those. Yeah, so he says, yeah, we monitor them. The guy who says we monitor them, make sure that's the guy who need, need to be monitored by other five or ten independent uh, monitoring uh, of all officers. Don't believe me? I, I can't convince you, but I do know things like this occur. I do know. Well, I know. Don't take my word. Be skeptical. Obviously, always. That's the 
the um, skepticism is the mother of uh, uh, knowledge and you know I want you to be skeptical I wanted to church uh, to church don't I don't, no 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 church to search I wanted to go to search to do some searches and uh, you figured out that's the way it's ran in those countries but if you don't believe me if you stay with me until this thing is over or at least one year I am pretty sure I will have examples to give you because those weapons will pop up in different locations and I'm gonna say hey remember the July 16th video that I posted in 2022 regarding these guys who gave assurances there you have it and uh, by the way nobody's gonna be punished nobody's gonna be punished they will be promoted thank you very much for being with me uh, today and uh, stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just <laughs>